Ah. <laughs> I seriously hope that you're not wearing that during the interviews. <laughs> this is mandatory masking. We got to implement very strict protocols and wear a tie. None of okay. slacking. No slacking. That is quite the tie. I just want people to know that I'm very liberal. And the death squad I sent against you, I called off at the last moment. Oh, sweet. So that uh, you don't have impending doom. All right, all right. But I'm going to do have impending New Zealand. help. Huh? We do have impending help. Uh, I'm going to keep them in New Zealand just and have them kind of like an hour away. It's all that stuff. It's all the people that want to help us. Jeez. Do they know what they're getting into? So why don't I just show you real quick what, what I told them and then so that we're on the same page. Okay. Make sure that and what kind of uh, qualifications do they got? Well, we can go through that if you want. Uh, they all have some experience in front end, apparently, but that's why we're talking to them. Um, can you make me share a screen person? Maybe uh, maybe this would be more appropriate. <laughs> We're trying to build something good for the people. Do you understand that? So 32 people have applied already. What? Yeah. 32. Uh, to, yeah. I sent, uh, I sent the ones that look good some messages. Six of them have got back to me so far. Uh, because the first message I sent to them is basically hey, saying, hey, do you realize this is a, a volunteer job? You know, basically, um, oh, I'll show you what I wrote. Yeah. Can you read that? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Nice. Nice. Yeah, basically for you know three hours a week, a work a week. The fuck. For three hours of work a week, uh, I I I basically say, hey, we can you know we can help them with their career goals. You know, I can help them make their LinkedIn better. You know, work on their CV with them, and they can use the work that they do for us in their portfolio. Well, and, and so, to me, so they're getting something. Right. And that's just a minimum to me. If if they work out, then we'll yeah. we'll figure out a way to to get oh, them exactly. out. So. Yeah, down the road, if they want, you know, once once we get some funding or or whatever income or whatever, they we can start paying them or if they want to stay on or something. But yeah, for now, this is just easy. They can help a few hours a week. So, so maybe why more did, than one of them? I don't know. Why didn't we do this like a year ago? Uh, well, I don't know. I guess we kind of talked about it now and again, and then I've been really using LinkedIn a lot in the last six months to try to get a job here and really learned a lot about it. And then I just, oh, actually what happened is um, for my portfolio, um, I had all this experience, right? Like Game of Planets, Arika Village, uh, my company, a uh, company I used to work for. And then I had this this volunteer stuff like Lucielle and Permaculture Society and Canadian Earth Institute. And you don't even have Planetary Guardians or Inflow Matrix there. I, I got it right here. Oh. Volunteer Director of Information Technology for now, anyway. Okay. But uh, the point, the, the reason is that the little Planetary Guardians logo wasn't there, right? All these right. logos didn't exist. Um, Lucielle had, had the, because if you go to one of these pages, right, there's an actual company here on LinkedIn. Right. Right. But, you know, Planetary Guardians, not even the Permaculture Society, none of these, the Game of Planets, none of them had 
a LinkedIn. So I made a LinkedIn so that it would look good on my, on my resume. Nice. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, well, now we have a LinkedIn for Planetary Guardians. And then I saw a button that said uh, post a free job or post a job for free. I was like, oh, well, what the hell? So then, yeah, so I got all these people. By hook and by crook. Okay, fantastic. So what are we going to do? How are we going to figure out which ones will work? Uh, so this is basically, I don't know if you need to read this. That's what I told them, everyone. Everyone who looked good and applied, I, I sent them this particular message. Very nice. You didn't say anything about death squads if they don't meet deadlines. Sure. So, and then I got their time zone and everything. So, okay. Um, so we've got currently the people that are interested. We've got two people in Canada, one person in South Africa, one person in Bangladesh, one person in India, and one person in Nepal. Wow, that's good. Uh, let's so get six them. different time zones. Let's, let's give each one a project and see what, how they work with it. Give each one like something to do and then yep. and then uh, see see how they do well that's yeah exactly i'm going to give them each the same project actually no. what no because you know why because we don't have anything to do what do you mean we what about just one of them finding how to do the share button on that freaking choose a remedy no no these are front-end people they can't do that stuff they're not programmers really yep yeah, they're designers can you, can you put a thing out for programmers then? Because I thought we need some help with programming. Um, yeah, that, that's secondary, but yeah, for sure. I can start putting out more ads. Um, yeah, basically these guys are HTML, CSS people. Okay. Can, can so, any of them turn the choose a remedy into a phone app? Yeah, that's the other, but yeah. These guys can also do mobile. Okay, well, that's, that's what we want then, eh? We want them on the, make the choose remedy and, and to make th this chat room better at, at the phone app. Yep. Uh, yeah, they need to, I think so one of them at least needs to completely redesign the chat room, um, the look of it, right? Uh, and then I think someone else could work on the project for the next step of that with the synergy wheel and the roles and, and yeah. how, however we're going to do that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, someone else can work on converting the, the uh, choose remedy into a mobile app. Um, another person, we could just put them on the Weebly thing. Yeah. Oh, hey, you write, are you writing this stuff down? No. Huh? No. Write this shit down, man. Because you're right. You're getting it right. But we need to. We just can't say this ad hoc. We got to identify all the pieces and then assign and track and yeah. that kind of shit. So as the IT director, also one of the things I have to do is arrange all of this, right? So it's possible because. I can't give them all access to the server right away because I mean they could just delete things, they could mess with stuff, they could put a virus on there. Who knows, right? We got to so test I gotta, them. Yeah, yeah, we got to test them, and I got to set it up in a way that they can modify or that they can work on something, but it's not actually yeah. the the live thing. So that if they yeah. mess with it or completely destroy it, it's not going to affect anything. So it'll take me a little bit to work to set that up, like today and tomorrow, maybe. Okay, um, but that's why I'm thinking. To give them all a basic project first and yeah like let's like i just think it's a better idea to spread it out and have them doing different projects all that means something rather than just doing the same thing for you know that's just yeah slow. but i mean first we need to just talk to them on the phone on, on the video chat say hey you know um well they all seem pretty stoked like i told them all hey this is a volunteer thing and they're like uh yeah uh you know i'm ready to go ahead cool. this guy well, I mean, what we should be before the meeting, we should have, let's say, six projects and then yeah. identify the projects and then during the meeting, bring them up and see which ones think they want to take which ones, right? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. No? No. We're, we have to have six different meetings. Oh, no. Because these people don't know each other and they're all in different parts of the world. Some of them are 12 hours difference from each other. Do you we have time for six group. meetings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're amazing how much you got a new job, you got six more meetings, and you're finishing up the chat room. <laughs> it's amazing you yeah. got this done. So, yeah, I, I, I worked out all the details of the time zones and I arranged it this morning for all okay. the people. Um, so, I got some, if you, you know, obviously, I would think you'd want to be there for at least yeah. some of them or all of them, right? Okay. Give me the schedules. Okay. So, the first one, first one coming up, and these are just the dates I, I, 
have sent. I haven't confirmed with you, so I haven't told them 100%, but this, they've already confirmed. Um, we got Donnie Alamore from Ontario at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Is that today? Yeah. Okay, just wait one second. Will that work for you? Uh, So excited here. So, okay, so we got Donnie at five today. Okay. Yeah, you're good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, then next up uh, to, to, to would be at 8.15 PST. We've got Samil from Nepal. Samil? Uh, Samil, S-U-N-I-L. I can show you the resumes too, if you want, while we're, while we're here. Yeah. Um, so this is Samil here. Where's his resume? Again? So he knows. So yeah, he's worked as a software engineer for these guys for a while. Went to the university. He's got a bachelor of technology. And yeah, done some certificates. Some Python. And some of that stuff. Yeah, Python. He's, he knows a little bit of React apparently. And okay. Yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, 8.15 p.m. tonight? Uh, oh, shit. Hold on a sec. I think I got this guy backwards. He's from India. Uh, Nepal time. Oh, yeah. No. He, he might be from India or Nepal. I can't tell. But it's but 8.15, your time. Okay, p.m. Yeah. Okay. And he's in Nepal. And where's Donnie from? Donnie is from Ottawa. Oh, Ottawa. Yeah. Okay. And what's okay. the next one? So that's good. How long? Uh, next one. How long a meeting? Do you think? Ah, uh, like 15, 20 minutes, probably. Really? Like a half an hour at the very most, I think. Because uh, I mean, we don't have a project. I can throw them on right away. We, I think, we should just like kind of like have a quick chat with them, give them a small amount of information, like let them ask some questions, and and just get them to say, yeah, I want to do three hours a week or whatever. Just get them to commit and, and get them in the door. And then okay. I can do a follow-up or we or I can follow up with them with text on LinkedIn or whatever. Yeah. Well then you got to set it up and then sign projects and then we're off to the races kind of thing. Yep. Okay. Uh, the Sarah, she hasn't got back to me, but she wanted to do it. Uh, she's from uh, Canada. I don't know where. So I'm asking, I'm waiting for her to tell me her time zone and stuff. Um, so, but after Sunil, we got, um, uh, is that order? Okay. Tan, Tanvir. 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 Uh, so, so wait, yep. did you say 36 people applied? 32. And you sent that letter back and six, six got back to you. So far. Yeah. And how long ago did you send that letter? Uh, last night. Oh, okay. Okay, so what about Tanvir? Uh, so he will be uh, 10 o'clock PST, 10 o'clock your time. 10 o'clock PM? Yeah, because that's actually his, his 11.30 AM. Okay. He's in Bangladesh. Okay. Uh, and then the other guy, I'm still trying to get him to to reschedule because right now I've got them at 2.30 a.m. your time. 2.30 a.m. like in the morning. Yeah. Well, you well, can handle it. Well, you, I don't have to see them all. I mean, you can handle that. I, I was thinking, yeah, after we do four, then I could probably just do that one myself and then because, yeah, the, he, he was only available like at three o'clock his time, which is in India. Yeah. Okay. Is Sarah, you think Sarah is going to be sometime tonight too? I... I think so. I don't know why she hasn't got back to me, but yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess she hasn't seen my message probably yet. Yeah. Said uh, looking forward in, forward to continuing the conversation. Okay, and who's who's after, uh, very professional of you, excellent. Um, who's after Tanvir? Okay, so I've got first, uh, that's it, there should be four, including the 3 a.m. guy. Oh. Oh no! What they should Donnie, be? Oh, oh, there's no. So, no, Sarah Tanvir. 
Uh, so tomorrow, I, I couldn't get this guy for today, but tomorrow we got the Fabo. Yeah. Um, he is from, where is he from? South Africa. And he's got a uh, pretty good looking resume too. Where is it? Yeah, front end. He's been the front end developer for nine months for this company. Uh, and that's it. But if, you know, it doesn't matter. He's okay. mainly written HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and that's all we need. So he seems to be doing good as a job, he says. So we'll see. Um, but I couldn't get him for today. So I got him for tomorrow at not at 10 30 p.m. Or sorry, no, 1 30 p.m. Your time. 1 30 p.m. tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. And then who is the sixth guy? Uh, so the sixth guy is the, the 2 30 a.m. person. Mohammed. What, what's what's his name? Uh Mohammed. He is from India. And yeah, he's he looks pretty good. He's got front end and full stack and a bachelor of uh, te uh, technology as well. Okay, so he might actually do programming. So can we brainstorm a bit on which projects that could be done? Yep. Highly experienced full stack web developer. Highly. Yeah. Open, hashtag open to work. <laughs> <laughs> I even got my own uh, my own page here. What's going on with Gino? Well, I don't know what go, what's going on exactly. I've been trying to fill out the like I've he got me this job with his university. Uh, and I'm still waiting for the paperwork to be finished. Basically, it's finished. But and then, other than that, I haven't talked to him. I'm kind of having to hey, wait. Hey, guess what happened? Yesterday, I uh, ran into someone at the uh, printer, and it was like bro ship from the get go. He wasn't wearing a mask. Uh, we started talking. I bring him back to the house. He's with his uh, his girlfriend, and they're both showed him the the plan, and like they're both in completely. Like okay, good. and he's like he's got like nine online businesses he understands seo he understands automated processes he's got people all over the world that he's like he's at a high end of uh, coordination uh okay. and he's he's funny he knows what's going on it's, it's, it, he's coming over friday we're going to start making some maybe videos first maybe for the yep. series one um but anyway he i like you to meet him soon because he's uh, i think he's that business side you're talking about Nice. Okay, he's, he's very motivated. And plus, I told, I told his name. What the frick is his name? JP, JP, BJ, BJ. It's two letters. Not great with the names. Um, and then I told you, I was in that call with 60 people that Clint Sky organized. And they were all up in arms about the vaccine mandate. So the troops are starting to organize because the squeeze is getting stronger. Yeah. And I think I'm pretty sure I put a call out for 12 facilitators, but I think they could be the next test group or another test group for the for the chat room. Yep. Okay. Um, anyway, and and these are just like, you know, it's going to be unending, man. At some point, unending. Okay. Good. And you're going to have to get freaking organized, Mister IT. Run a team of six. Get that shit going. Well, that's the thing. So, one of the positions that we need to fill is volunteer coordinator. Uh, yeah. So, we got to find the leader in this team. Yeah. Someone who just wants to network with these people, make sure that they're doing good, check in with them every couple of days or whatever, and, and keep track of their progress, let us know what's going on. And then, I, I as the IT director, will make sure that the projects work like that they can do the projects safely for us and that, you know, yeah, that all of our projects are continuing to go. That I'll, I'll work behind the scenes to make the, the finished stuff live so that when the people do some work for us, 
you know, I can check it and we can test it or whatever, but, but basically, yeah, none of it will be live until we click a button. Otherwise, we'll yeah. get into trouble. But yeah, ultimately, um, yeah, ultimately, I, we, we do need someone to, to run the volunteer team or whatever to run the team. I could be the IT director, but I can't also be the whole supervisor and everything else too at the oh. same time. It's, it, so we, it will be too much once this starts getting going. We just need to identify what needs to get done and how it fits in and shit like that. And then just assign. Yep. So, okay, yeah, so on that note. Okay, so what, uh, is, what are the projects, what need to get done? Okay. Well, we've got Choose a Remedy to be made, taken live, probably probably redesigned too. A lot of people say it's pretty ugly. What? Yep. <laughs> uh, I guess just because you and me, we're, we're old school and these 20 year old people are like, ah, oh, it looks so old. How do they say it looks ugly? It's bare. It's basically nothing. I mean, there's barely anything to look ugly. Yep, that's probably why. Who says that? To you? <laughs> uh, well, some of the people in the Lucy Hall group, I mean, for instance. Really? <laughs> yeah. They don't seem to like me, right? I don't know. One day, I'll try to arrange a call with my team and you, so if that's helpful. Yeah. Cool. Maybe after they start using our tools and they like it. <laughs> So choose a remedy anyway. Maybe we can make it look better, but but bare basics. Choose a remedy needs to be made mobile or a mobile version, right? Yeah. And that share yeah. button. And the share button needs to work. Uh yeah. Like that's yeah, I'm aware of that. <laughs> because you know, if if like if we can find a product manager from the tech side for choose a remedy, because there's so many things that could be done. But I would like to organize things like by product teams kind of thing, and then we can figure out revenue sharing and that kind of thing. So to have people assigned to sort of products. And yep. I guess we can move That's between good. depending on if we need it, but we need to figure out kind of like we need to, I want the product teams to be independent. Yeah, that's smart. Each with a product manager, you know, each with kind of like a marketer and a, a tech person. And we figure out the the revenue streams, and then we just let her go, right? Just figure out percentages. And yep. essentially, because we're making all the parts, if once all the parts are working together, that's where we're going to get the big volume. And until we get that sort of set up, it doesn't really matter, right? Like we're still in testing. Yeah. yeah hey, I watched our video. I watched our whole video of me and you talking about the, the stuff that you had just shown. And I think it, it gives a pretty good download of what we're trying to do. So um, uh, which video was that? The one where you're showing me what's been done. The one oh, a couple of days ago. Oh, okay, okay. Anyway, I think if someone watched it, they'd get an, an understanding, one, how we work, two, kind of what we're working on right now. And and have them have them understand that do they understand they're going to be on a show that we're going to record the the meetings and no no they have no idea about that <laughs> and I think uh, we should ask them if they're if they want to do that because there's no point just weeding people out based on that for instance true yeah no I the you know, if they want to just work behind the scenes and, and not show their face on camera who cares as long as they do the work well. But yeah, ultimately, the you know the, the main people are have to you know at least be their their voice at least has to be in the show soon. But yeah, um, no, I didn't tell them that. I kept it strictly professional. See that? <laughs> it's good, you know, that if I'm once removed from a people at the beginning, like at some point, right? I <laughs> I don't need. Well, see, you're 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 like the you're a good like Steve Jobs kind of guy. So that like there's there's this big thing happening in this organism, people end up joining it. They have no idea who's e who's even the, the boss or anything like this. And then at some point at, down the line, they end up meeting you, and you're like this crazy like eccentric eccentric uh, leader owner type. 
and that works. But initially, it's it's unless you already have this working company and stuff, it looks really weird, I think, to people. <laughs> They're like, why would I help this guy start his company? He's a nut. <laughs> but oh. once they are already part of it, then they're like, man, I can't believe this guy's in charge. He's done that. <laughs> no, like, I don't know. But you know what I'm saying, right? Like down the road, you will be the eccentric leader, owner I'm, type. I'm going to take that personal. <laughs> and you're going to have to do, did you hear that my shadow took over the show? Yeah, you know, I couldn't even get through that whole video. I tried. <laughs> So I, I honestly did try to watch it. It was only like three minutes, but I only made it like a minute and a half in and I couldn't do it. No, it was only a minute. Are no, you talking about the I one with me? About, yeah, I made it about halfway through that video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, man. You know, out of the three views that you had, uh, mine was only 50%. <laughs> Okay, that brings me to another point. I think one of the people that we need for sure is, uh, and it would be easy to get, I can put an ad out for them soon, is like, uh, I don't know exactly what to call it, like a media person so that they Obviously. they take some of our videos and some screenshots of our stuff and and maybe work with us a little bit on the wording, but they they essentially put little videos together to showcase what our that project. Should right? they, that should be Jordan. Well, yeah, that could be Jordan. I mean, he's he's sure. slacking. He's done it a little bit, and I I know he can do it. And we, we just got to sort of come up with a, we got to get him on the team team approach. So it's got to be me and you. We got to start doing this as a team, kind of, because I just come in and thrash people, and I don't think that works that well. So you seem yeah, a lot ni not. nicer. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I just uh, I don't know. I have a different approach, maybe than you. With a third person, we'll have another person too, right? The more people we get, the easier this is going to be, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> Easier on you guys, not on me. <laughs> so like, yeah. Anyway, a media person is, is, is yeah. good, I think. Right. No, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but wait, we're brainstorming uh, projects. That too. So what are the other? So projects? yeah, Choose Remedy uh, needs to be able to share the spell properly and also make a mobile version. Yeah, and maybe a static um, upgrade. Yeah, possible aesthetic upgrade, or if nothing else, we could ask someone to redesign it so that, you know, a lot of these apps and, and, and computer programs, you can like select, you know, dark mode, light mode, this theme, yeah. this look, you know, it'll just make some other looks for it. I think it's fine. Yeah. No, I agree. Because that's an easy thing for people to do too, or uh, easy thing for us to put a person project on, right? Okay. It's like, hey, we want to, you know, we want to make this look different. But don't change any of the program and just hey make it look different. Get four different people to do it. Boom, we got four different styles right away. I like it. You know, I like it. So okay, it. okay. So choose uh, a remedy, aesthetic upgrade, share button, and mobile, and then. Um... So we've got the chat room, um, which definitely will need an aesthetic upgrade at some point. It needs a a, 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 a mobile version. Chat stream mobile version. Yeah, aesthetic upgrade, mobile version. Um, okay, and then and there's some programming stuff to be done there, but but design wise, that's it, I think, for now. Uh, and then I think another project that's obviously connected to oh, that. Oh, wait, is... wait, 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 back up. I think, um, what about in like, I know you have that, what's that methodology of embedding the chat room in other places? Uh, the API stuff. Yeah, like can we can we have that so it's actually kind of it looks nice? Is that its own little aesthetic project? Um, yeah, well, that's part of this for sure. Is when they end up making a mobile version, and even in between that, I've not just the it. mobile, but just you know something you stick in the. I'd like something. I I, I think the websites. I want to organize the chats and the websites. I think all of these need embedded versions. Like yeah. choose a remedy. They should, people should be able to put that in, you know, on the side of their web page and, and have a bunch of stuff there. For sure. Like, for sure. Yeah, all of them need that. Okay. So why don't uh, we have maybe we could put one person who's who's good at doing that? Maybe. Okay. See, I what what I want to do too is is in this in these. Yeah, we got to figure out the projects first. Then we can figure out who we have to work with, and then who's best for what, or who wants to do what or whatever, right? Okay, do we have something other than choose a red? Okay, then in chat stream, we also have uh, the inflow matrix wheels, the other um, 
I guess that's the other part of it, basically, right? That we haven't really designed. Right. So that's the values, because that would be value systems, right? I, like we need a bunch of interfaces that are just the value systems. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know what you're envisioning, actually, but I know for one thing we talked about, we have to have the next step after the chat stream so that when people identify, you know, this is the research guy, the, the marketing guy, et cetera, those, um, I think we just need to design a whole system for LaCL for that so that they can go into their admin thing, the same thing I got now, but they can click on whatever that is and they can see, okay, well, here's, here's all the people in the research team, blah, blah, blah. For the and then they need to be able to, they need to be able to go into a chat room or something else. And also each of the teams need to be able to see their wheel and say, oh, who's, who's on the research team or on our team again? You know, yeah. that's that whole thing. Yeah. It's almost part of the chat stream, but at the same time, it's separate. That's why the, the entry, the entry point will be the same. Yeah. So planetaryguardians.net, they log in and they can go either to the chat room or they can go to this thing. So well, what do we call it? Just so we have a so, name for it. So Synergy Wheel Teams. Yeah, synergy. just our uh, yeah synergy wheel teams or just synergy teams. Yeah, synergy teams. So I'm going to call it the synergy team platform. Yeah. Okay, and that needs everything. Yeah, it needs design, and that's a, that's a part where um, those people who are interested can come in and, and have a, you know, they can actually design it from the ground up with us. So if they're, they can say, Hey, I think we need a button over here. And I think these things should be arranged like that. And, blah, blah, blah. and then we can work out an actual design first and then have them or a different designer actually build it out. And then I come in or another program comes in and programs it, and then we connect it. So then, you know, maybe we should do is, uh, do you want to Stop this for a second, and then do you want to run through the Choose a Remedy site and the chat stream where it's at right now and kind of go through all of these? So then what we could do is send it to all six of them and go, this is the available, this is what we're working on, and then maybe leave it to them to go which, which part they might want to work on? Uh, no, we can't do that yet. No? No, I don't think so. I think the fir first step is uh i put that out they respond i talk to them we arrange a meeting then like just we'll just spend 10 15 minutes get them just, on just, board first. just yeah selling them you know okay like getting them hooked getting them committed and then we'll say okay great we'll get back to you you know we'll have another meeting tomorrow we'll have a project or some project options for you and we'll get you started right away kind of thing okay. and then and then so I, I just don't think we're quite ready to to do that all in one meeting okay down the road i think we can do it that way okay Okay, so I, I know you're probably, I mean, you, we're spending a lot of time and this is a lot of things to do. So should we stop now? And then, um, so we got a meeting at 5, 8, 15 and 10 p.m. tonight. Uh, yep. Yep. And then so, uh, 1.30 tomorrow, you're good? Yeah, one thirty tomorrow. Do you want me okay. to, do you want me to arrange the Zooms and send them to you like 15 minutes ahead of time or something or? Uh, even right now, if you can arrange them, I'll send them to them now and then. Okay. And then, you know, they have it scheduled and I get it to them today. And then let me know too if you can't make it or something, because then yeah. no, you this, make me the most, right? No, this is this is high priority. So okay. I, I will make it. That's okay, awesome. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. That's fucking awesome, Noah. Good work. Yeah. And I think we can create more ads easily enough and get some other people involved i think just yeah doing this you is know what you, you might process. you might put an ad up for facilitators um oh hey also what 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 i could not understand what you're saying about the facebook page it you said it's dead or something oh no i mean the block is i i i have to redo my after unless i can remember it i should be able to remember it like you I think I no, I forgot my password. You need your password to change something like that. Oh, okay. And so, and, and then when I redo my password, then all my devices are fucked, and then it irritates me. Because I mean, it, it looks like it's still active. It is. You know, there's stuff, there's stuff Wait, being posted on it. Let me see if I can change it right now. Okay. Cool. Okay, but that's the reason why, and and that's stupid. I just get 
I have silly reasons where I get blocked. So, sorry. no worries. I mean, we got eight hundred and thirty-eight people following this. Yeah, but it's it stayed at that. Like they must have put a blocker on because I mean it 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 went nowhere for for a lot for years, and I was posting tons, and it reached a certain point, and then it just never got more. And I just I think I don't know if I'm ghost banned or whatever, but there's there's a lot of things that are funny about me and software. And um, to me, if I was them, I'd put this sort of zone around somebody and cut off a lot of stuff before they even know it. And I know, I know. That's why we got to get some of the stuff done before that happens. Because uh, yeah, the stuff that you post on Facebook is is good stuff, but it's eventually going to get you targeted. I think. Yeah. Yeah. No, it all my stuff needs to get totally rearranged, so it's 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 organized very differently. Yeah, that's that's why we get the media person on board to like start taking like like an actual public relations media person, so yeah. they like. You know they'll make this look good to the average person and also you know make it like sellable and everything else and then behind the scenes you know the people that you know are obviously a little more radical or whatever you want to say we can you know talk to them a little more in depth about things just like in uh that lisiel group right it's like at least two of the people are like super anti-vax and like they want to they don't but they don't really want to talk about it because they know that everyone in the group doesn't think the same way and there's like several people in our group that I can tell have strong viewpoints about things, but you know, no, nah, they're, they're not, we're not going to have those discussions there. Interesting. But one day, one day the line in the sand will be seen. Oh well, yeah. So I don't know if you saw this post too. I hope that describes our project well. Very nice. I like it. All right, put this together too. I think you saw that. Just kind of, I just grabbed a bunch of screenshots of some of the stuff that we had and threw it up together. So it looks like something. <laughs> it looks like something. <laughs> but we could put, uh, we could put, I, I was thinking we could put something like this or the job description itself on the Facebook page. And then, you know, potentially we could get some people that way as well. I think I think in this place it's better. Facebook to me is just fucked. It's just it's never provided Facebook anything is, useful. Like this this to me yeah. like people people are using this stuff for serious work. Facebook is just fucking around. Yeah. That's why LinkedIn works so good for this stuff, and and that's what they tell people when they when they're, they're like advertised on LinkedIn because people are, are on LinkedIn to do business. You know, yeah. they're literally they have a profile there, and the only reason they're on LinkedIn is to make money to get a job. To you know, increase their career, to connect with people, to, you know, on a on a professional level. So yeah, that's that's one of the things I was like oh, pretty stoked about. Yeah, um, and then so I'm gonna get some people to volunteer. I I thought this kind of inspired me this whole process. I'm gonna get I'm gonna put some other ads out under Game of Planets. Nice, and get some people to volunteer to do that. You For know, sure. Why not? For sure. And also the Permaculture Society. Get For some sure. people to help with that, and yeah. uh, also yeah. the. <laughs> the facebook page I, I set up as well um for old growth forest protection preservation team yeah uh we got uh what's up now it's pretty pretty active um uh, you got what just trying to see here it's got like something like 800 people too or something now what or, or, oh, there we go. 537. Go down more. Yeah. And this is all very recent, right? There's there's oh, a bunch of people yeah. in, in mind that want to join the group. Um, this one's an invite only, so they can wow. request to join. But yeah, I think if we if we take this thing, I built this as kind of a, a, a point where people can get into this, like they see the picture, right? And they're like, yeah, this is retarded um and then they can ask to join the group and I, it, when, it, when it asks you to or when they apply to join the group it asks them some questions and they have to answer them yeah uh and i think they're pretty smart what is it i'm just trying to see where are the people that are waiting because i know there's a bunch of people who are trying to join nah, i don't know how to use these groups very well 
maybe manage jobs. I don't know. Stick me as an admin. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, fuck. Okay, so I'm going to go off and I'm going to set these meetings up, okay? Oh yeah. Um, so I guess okay. When you when you send me those meeting links, maybe just tell me, uh, like somehow tell me which which one is which. Okay. Or actually, no. I can, never mind. I can tell by the times. Yeah. So don't don't even worry. You just send me the links, and I'll. Should I'll I put their the names in, or make it just like a, a interview, like a front end interview? Um. I'll just go Planter Guardians front end interview. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do that. Okay. Okay. So we cool. Can I go? Oh. Uh, yeah. And also, uh, I was gonna say something. Shit. Yeah, I don't remember. All right. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So I I think just in terms of uh, for what I like in the meetings, I guess I'll see because a lot. We'll just see as it goes, but I want to see like how much time they can commit, what they're interested in, um, and what. And oh yeah, yeah, that's why. What are they really good at doing? You know. So I told them all around three hours a week. Okay. It just so, we, you know, I, think the, you I, I said around. No, nah, we can get more than one person. Uh, but I said because we're because what we're offering them is like basically help with their career, right? They can use it as a portfolio, et cetera. If they want to do more than three hours, that's awesome. I just wanted to say around three hours because then that's, it seems easy for anyone to say, oh yeah, okay, I'll do that. Yeah, minimum. And then, yeah, if, they, if they want to get more involved, they can do 30 hours a week, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> but then, yeah, so we're, we can off, if they have questions like, what you know, what, why am I, why should I do this? Well, I mean, obviously you should help the planet and, and the people. And we're trying to do that and so help with our project but the other part of it is we can help them with their cv we can help them with their linkedin we can help them with their portfolio and give them some job experience and get their name on some kind of list or whatever you know and then yeah we can we can we should ask yeah um you know are you willing to commit three or more hours a week um and i thought i my proposal to the people was basically three hours or more like around three hours of work a week and then once a week they attend a meeting so that we can you know check on their progress and and they're kind of committed to, to the meeting thing so that we're not like wondering well what the fuck is you know what whatever happened to donnie or to me or to tanvir or sunil or what are they doing you know <laughs> yeah and yeah basically okay. like a an internship is what we're offering yeah you need a light on your desk i know uh you know that little that little light i had yeah, the kids stole, took it from me, and, and they lost it. <laughs> <laughs> and and now all the stores are closed here, so I can't get one. What? Yeah, we're in the second week of lockdown. There's sixty something cases in the country, including that Delta thing. Oh, we're shit. We're probably going to be off the. You know, it's all here. Nothing is open except grocery stores. Really. And liquor stores, of course. It's, you know, it's, it's just a fucking scam. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Those motherfuckers. Hey, what do you think about my new co-host? Hey. <laughs> I tell you, that dollar store, you just get shit, man. It's like, yeah. I got my shadow, got my skeleton. And look at this. Did you uh there we go. so you <laughs> we need an editor, man. I need an editor. I think I'm pumping out some good shit, but it just needs to get edited. What do you mean the media stuff? Yeah. Yeah, man. We we can if we get someone who likes to do video editing, we can just give them just say, hey, go to the YouTube channel, download, you know, because they can just download all that shit anyway. Yeah. Find go to the YouTube stuff. channel, make us, uh, you know, a 20 minute promo video on all the work that we've been doing. And they can just cut our meetings out, put a little background music to it, slow some, 
show some slides, some cool transitions, and boom, we got like a 15 minute thing of like, join Planetary Guardians, blah. That is, will get views. Yeah. I know that. And what? yeah, oh yeah, two, two other things, two other things. What's that? Um, I'm noticing the Planetary Guardians Discord channel has like 10 people on it now. Oh yeah, I saw that. What are we? Do what are you doing with that? What's what's the what's the plan here? Well, that's that's going to be the sort of uh, the thing that goes along with the chat room in terms of you know we're going to use multiple communication mediums, right? And so uh, those that's the beginning of getting the uh, communication going with the rest of the team. You understand? I have no idea. <laughs> I just I just put it. I just. I get these intuitive flashes and then it ties in. I tell you, man, I think we're, we're both going into guided, guided zoom time and it's going to happen with more and more people. And we're just going to be this mycelium network of, of people just fucking creating amazing shit. I think so too. Yeah. We're, it feels like we're getting very close to something. Like getting very close to the next chapter in our book here. Well, I, I tell you, when we can go from choose a remedy to press a button and a facilitator makes a chat room to answer the question with that spell. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, once we can also just release the chat stream technology to the world and have people creating groups of 144 on their own that end up creating the synergy wheel teams as well. And all of that just starts working, creating knowledge communities. And then those start to connect together with Cause that's the third thing we have to make. Hey? Yeah. Cause once we have a mul multiple groups of 144, we need to create the software that connects yeah. them together. Yeah. That's and that's the last piece, right? In that puzzle. I wouldn't say last piece, but I mean, that's the, well, the next, uh, that's a, that's the last level of connection, isn't it? No, the, the, the 144 connected together in 12 teams of 12. Those 12 teams of 12 are also double connected as synergy teams. And then those 144 groups are connected together as community teams. Right? Yeah, there's a thousand of them. So we have like a thousand 144 groups. Right. Why a thousand? We're tying into the prophecy, man. The prophecy is about 144,000 people. So we're, we're creating the container. I mean, it can be more, but that's our first big goal. 144,000 planetary guardians. Here's our plan. It totally ties into the prophecy. Uh, it's actually not a hard number to get, I would say. Not these days. No. I mean, people that's are flocking to groups. Team has a million people, you know. I mean, the thing is, like, this is people are going to participation will be rewarded. So as you get more organized and as you sort of play the game, then you go further in the further in the game yep well with the media people you know one media person eventually media team you know one product manager eventually product team etc they these it all has room to expand and i think if we do it through this type of model for now like this volunteer model yeah where they're volunteering for something we're giving them something back that doesn't cost us any money but it helps them and then you know down the road these become jobs but for now that's a, i think enough to, to get things going and that's that's we, the, we can get a media person for that too, for sure. I mean, I th I think I already know the person. Um, we'll see. I think, I think we need to be able to give them something, but yeah, it doesn't matter if they if they want to do it. Awesome. Otherwise, we can put another ad out that says, "Hey, we'll help you with your CV. You can put our videos on your portfolio. We just need someone to make some videos." Yeah. Easy peasy. Yeah. Well, I think you found I found you found the root. Like the root is putting these volunteer things up in LinkedIn. And then it's just, fuck, that's the beginning of the engine, right? Uh, from the people angle. Yeah, I think so. I think it'll uh, serve the purpose, one of the five purposes of the luminescent spiral induction, <laughs> or spiral induction and instantiation out of engine. <laughs> people will go, what is that? It's, you can't talk about it right now, but it's very- You won't know what that is until it's fully functional. Right. All right, I should get back to the rest of my life. Okay. Send me those links and I'll see you at uh, five o'clock, I think is our first one. No, okay. three. Uh, what? Yeah, five o'clock. Okay.